Okay guys, we're gonna replace an what? wheel hub on 2004 Dodge. It's got the sport package. Basically all we've done so far is taken So the bearing's gone in other words. Yeah, the bearing's gone in. So we've taken the wheel off. Next step, we're gonna take the You gotta take the, the brake off. off. Brick then we're gonna take the the brake. Um, the caliper holder off, take that nut off, and then behind it there's three bolts and we'll show you the steps of doing it. Alright guys, the next step what we have to do is we're going to take off it, your brake caliper, and all you want to do is, is a 10, I'm sorry, a 12 millimeter nut here, 12 millimeter nut there, and when you do this you want to make sure that you hang it up to like the A-arm or something, so you're not putting pressure on your line. So that's our next step. All right, we get the first hub bolt off that comes right here. Work on the second one here. And then you gotta spin the wheel around, and there's another one right by that tire right in. And this brake caliper hold will come off. And we gotta get a nut right here to, to take the main spindle off. But you can get the brake caliper off, you can get the rotor off, just by getting these nuts off. So we're gonna get this one off, spin it, get the other side, and take it apart. All right, caliper hold is off, rotor's off. I'm going to spin the wheel all the way the other way. We're going to get Jay in there. Just spin it. And then there's one more nut. And then this big main nut. All the way. Kill it. Cut it off. Okay, so. Grab that other nut, which is right on the back side back here. All right, grab that off. As you can see, we had to push the axle in some. And now, just break the socket just once. Now we're gonna you know, really put leverage on these. These suckers get on and they're tight. <coughs> Oh, you're moving it. So in order to get those bolts, you got to move that axle backwards. Oh, you want to do it? Want me to it? You want? Well, that bear go in there for a little bit. And... The thing keeps on clicking out. The socket, the ratchet. It's too much pressure on it. All right. So the old hub assembly came off. You had the bolts taken off, put the old hub assembly apart. New hub assembly's all in there. Don't forget, when you're doing this, make sure you put plenty of anti seize. Put anti seize around. This is the old bearing. Let me take the old bearing off. It's aluminum to steel. This is steel, but when it goes in the aluminum, you can see how it, it bonds. So you want to make sure. You give it a really good dosing. That, that's just aluminum flakes coming right off of there. So you want to be sure you give it a really, really good dosing of any. So you save you a lot of problems if you ever got to take it apart again. And if you plan on having a truck for a while, you will be taking it apart again. Alright, so now all you do is put the brakes back together and she's ready to go. Alright, so we got the rotor back on. If it was me, I would have bought brand new ones, but he didn't want to replace them. It's not my truck, so as I do, he said that his brakes were under warranty, so we put the pads back in. The pads actually still got a lot of meat on them. The road is thick, but it's definitely bumpy as hell. Uh, a lot of places won't turn them here in Mass. I would have gotten the brand new ones. He didn't want to. Like I said, it's his truck. So basically, the only thing left to do is to put on the caliper and the rim, and the job will be done. So let's get to it.